In this video, we will demonstrate an experiment to generate BPSK signal and its demodulation. Binary phase shift keying is a digital modulation scheme where the binary data is represented by two different phase states in the carrier signal. That is, binary data 1 is represented by carrier signal having certain number of cycles that is having fixed frequency and fixed amplitude whereas binary data 0 is represented by fixed number of cycles with 180 degree phase shift. To generate BPSK signal we are using IC CD4051. IC CD4051 is an analog multiplexer or demultiplexer. The functionality of this IC is explained in the earlier video. Pin number 6, 8, 9, 10 of this IC is connected to ground where 6 is active low enable, 8 is meant for ground, pin number 9, 10, 11 are the control selection inputs. Essentially the control selection input B and C must be set to 0, 0 and A can be varied between 1 and 0. So the combination is 0, 0, 0 or 0, 0, 1. Therefore, the selection line A, that is pin number 11, is connected to a message signal. It should be a square wave around 500 hertz and 10 volts peak to peak. To generate BPSK signal, we require a carrier signal C of T and its inverted version C star of T. The carrier signal C of T around 10 volts peak to peak of amplitude and uh, 5 kilohertz of frequency is directly connected via coupling capacitor to pin number 14 that will be called as C of T and the same carrier signal C of T is passed to an inverter here operational amplifier is used as an unity gain inverting amplifier so this carrier signal will be passed over an inverter block which produces an another signal called C star of T where C of T and C star of T are same in amplitude, same in frequency, but they are having a phase shift of 180 degree. So whenever the message signal is 1, that is binary data 1, which is interpreted by positive amplitude of the square wave, then pin number 14, that is input channel 1, will select as an output across pin number 3. So essentially pin number 14 consists carrier signal so we will obtain a fixed amplitude fixed frequency carrier signal to represent binary data 1 and whenever the amplitude of the square wave that is amplitude of the message signal is negative to interpret binary data 0 then pin number 13 will select as an output essentially pin number 13 consists C star of T that is 180 degree phase shifted version of C of T so we will obtain fixed amplitude, fixed frequency carrier signal with a phase shift of 180 degree to interpret binary data 0 that you can observe in the waveform. The circuit is rigged up is as shown in the circuit diagram. See this is an inverting amplifier block, a unity gain inverting amplifier block. The carrier the signal is passed over unity gain inverting amplifier block to produce C star of T. And the carrier signal around 5 kilohertz of frequency and an amplitude of around 10 volts peak to peak is applied to pin number 14 via coupling capacitor. Now you can observe the PSK modulated signal across pin number 3 okay, that you can observe in the CRO. You can observe the output on CRO where the binary data 1 is represented by a carrier signal having fixed amplitude and fixed frequency and binary data 0 is represented by a carrier signal having 180 degree phase shift. The BPSK demodulator circuit consists op-amp as difference amplifier, an envelope detector and op-amp as comparator. Here the unmodulated carrier signal that is C of T will be connected to 
in number 3 of the op-amp that is non-inverting terminal of op-amp will be connected to an unmoderated carrier and the PSK or BPSK output will be connected to the inverting terminal of the difference amplifier. Now essentially the output of the difference amplifier that is V0 is equals to V1 minus V2 where V1 is the voltage across pin number 3 and V2 is the voltage across pin number 2. So the output of the difference amplifier will pass us only the inverting inverted version of the carrier signal whereas in phase signals will be subtracted by the difference amplifier. So essentially the output of the difference amplifier looks like ASK which can be observed here. Since pin number 2 consists BPSK signal that is inverting terminal will be passed with BPSK signal and non-inverting terminal of the difference amplifier will be passed with carrier signal. Since the output is V1 minus V2 whenever both carrier signal and BPSK signals are in phase the expected output is 0 and whenever the carrier signal and the BPSK signals are out of phase that is 180 degree phase shift then V2 uh, sorry V0 is equals to V1 minus V2 so here at this point this is V2 this is V1 so V1 minus V2 positive amplitude minus of minus positive amplitude become uh, minus of minus become plus so that we will get a summing of the in phase as well as out of phase component so we will essentially obtain certain amplitude of the carrier signal. So this waveform which appear across the difference amplifier looks like ASK. This ASK signal which is obtained from the output of the difference amplifier will be fed to the envelope detector. The envelope detector consists diode and RC filter so which uh, identifies trace of the message signal or which is going to remove the carrier component and now the envelope detected detector output will looks like this as shown in the graph which identify the trace of the envelope of the message signal by removing the high frequency carrier component and the output of the envelope detector is fed to the inverting terminal of the op amp of comparator so whenever the amplitude of the inverting terminal of the comparator is greater than the reference voltage the output is negative the output is switched to negative saturation that is minus V saturation and whenever the amplitude of inverting amplifier that is pin number 2 is less than the reference voltage then the output will be switched to positive saturation. So thereby we are estimating the original message signal at the output of the comparator. So hence the comparator output is equal to the original message that is original square wave what we transmitted at the BPSK transmitter site. Uh, rig up the circuit for BPSK demodulator which is as shown in the circuit diagram. So this block is difference amplifier and the output of the difference amplifier pass to an envelope detector consisting of a diode and RC combination and across pin number 6 of the comparator we are observing the output for demodulated message signal. Now you can observe the CRO and the C it is a PSK modulated wave. Now we will pass this PSK modulated wave to inverting terminal of the difference amplifier and the carrier signal from pin number 14 whatever you are applied to pin number 14 the same carrier signal 
is given at pin number 3 of the difference amplifier. Now let us observe the output across pin number 6 of op amp which is used to constitute difference amplifier. In channel 1 you are observing BPSK signal. In channel 2 it is an output from difference amplifier. You can observe whenever the whenever the input to the difference amplifiers are in phase they will get subtract ideally we will expect zero but some small amount of voltage will come across the output and whenever the uh, in, uh, input voltages are out of phase that is 180 degree phase shift they will get added up so that what you are observing you are observing in the CRO so Therefore, the output of the difference amplifier somewhat looks like ASK signal that you can observe in the CRO. So, this will be passed to an envelope detector constituted by a diode and RC filter. So, which eliminates the high frequency carrier and which retains the traces of the original message signal that you can observe in the wave. So, which retains the trace of the original message signal and the output of the envelope detector is passed to comparator that you can observe in the breadboard. So here the output of the envelope detector is passed to the comparator block. The reference voltage for the comparator can be set with the help of 10 kilo ohm pot. So 10 kilo ohm pot consists three terminal. The first terminal should go to power supply and the last terminal should go to ground whereas the middle terminal should be connected to pin number 3 of the comparator and by varying the potentiometer value we can set the desired reference value so approximately the desired reference voltage is half of the amplitude of the carrier signal so the one end of uh, the pot is connected to plus 12 supply and middle terminal of the pot is connected to pin number 3 of the op amp which is constituted as comparator block and the another end of the pot is connected to ground. By varying the pot a desired voltage level can be set. So you can observe this is an output from the comparator. So whenever the amplitude of the trace of the envelope is greater than the reference voltage, the comparator producing negative saturation voltage and whenever the amplitude of the envelope detector output is less than the reference voltage, the output of the comparator is switching to plus V saturation. So this is the expected demodulated signal or expected message signal. Let us compare this message signal with the original message signal. This is the comparison between the original message signal and the detected message signal. So approximately we can estimate the original message signal back at the end of the comparator circuit.